Earlier today, I came across one of those tearjerker videos about a man and his wife and the husband had been suffering for years from a kidney disease and it was going to take his life if he didn't have a kidney transplant. And it's one of those stories where, of course, the wife, being the loving wife that she is, loving her husband, went and got the test and found out she was a match for him and that she could donate her kidney, one of her kidneys to him so that they could both live and stay together. Quite the sacrifice. And when you see his reaction, you just think, wow, this is quite the emotional reaction. I'm not sure how I would take it. I would hate to have my wife do it, go through anything like this for me. But I started wondering that with this type of emotion we could all relate to, a wife who loves her husband so much that she would be willing to give a part of herself so that both of them could live. It's a very great gift. It's very emotional. But I got emotional because I've been there in this lifetime and unlike this husband who's extremely good to his wife I am not a worthy recipient of what I have received and I was in a lot of pain so much pain that I wanted to end my life but then I found a relationship with someone who loved me enough that they didn't care that I was knocking on death's door and wanted to die and had walked away from them for a long time. And it was a father this time whose love was so great. He didn't just give a kidney to save my life. He sent me his only begotten son, his beloved son, so that I could live and not just live a life of slavery that I'd lived for so many years in pain, but a life of freedom that you have never experienced before. I didn't even know I was a slave. I didn't even know that I wasn't free. But a love came into my life that set me free. And it came with great sacrifice. Not just giving of part of a body but an entire body. A sacrifice that was a gift given to be raised up and I didn't deserve it and I think that's why this video resonated with me so well and really got me into the tear jerker moment that I didn't want to have and especially with people sitting around me I tried to act like I had something in my eyes. But I remember that gift all too well. And I want to remind you that it's there. It's not one of those gifts that's given to just a few of us. It is for all of you. You can be forgiven for everything. You don't have to hold on to that condemnation that you've had. If you're one of those people like me. Where you're beating yourself up for things that you've done. And things that you haven't done. It's time to move on and find the good news that there is a love out there that goes beyond the husband and wife love. It's a fatherly love that I've experienced and it's why I'm here. Time is running out on this earth. There's a lot of things that are being censored and shut up and I think it's time that we start sharing more testimonies and understanding that there is something that's being hidden from everyone and it's a power and love like you have never imagined if you've never experienced it you can't imagine and we can't explain it we could just go on and talk about it and have you get mad at us or some people get mad at us for talking about it because they haven't experienced it yet but I hope that you find this love and that it sets you free and that you share it with someone else no matter how much hate you receive in the process don't put off for tomorrow what we can do today. I know I'm guilty of procrastinating quite a bit. But the Father loves you. And He sent His Son to show you just how much you mean to Him.